Our first lightning talk is called Content Address Derivations. This is by Theophane Hofschmidt. And um, I, I don't actually have um, an abstract about that, so I will just let you cue the clip. Fuck. Hello everyone, I'm Theophan from Twig.io and I'm going to talk to you today about content address derivations in Mix, which is something I've been working on for the past few months uh, with the help of John Erickson and Elko in particular. So before explaining what content address derivations are and why they are awesome, uh, let me get back to the classical derivations in Mix, which are input address derivations. So the distinction between input and output uh, content address derivations has to do with the way uh, Nix computes the hash of the output path of the, der of the derivation, rather the, the output path themselves, which are the thing with a big hash and a slash Nix slash store. So for input address derivations, what happens is that each derivation, like hello.jrv, has a bunch of inputs, uh, be they uh, files or other derivations or strings in the derivation, including the build command itself or the environment variable that's going to be available here in the, in the build environment. And all these inputs uh, will be assigned a hash. And uh, then Nix will take all of these hashes, uh, put them in a box, shake the box, and uh, hash the result and this is going to be the hash of the hello derivation and from this hash Nix will be able to compute the different output path of the derivation. <clears throat> so um, this is uh, Nix as we know it, how Nix has been working for the last 15 years and uh, it's really cool because if I somehow change uh, my input GCC, uh, it's going to get assigned a new hash and transitively hello is going to get assigned a new hash and so Nix know that it has to rebuild both GCC and hello and uh, both the old and the new can coexist in the store, I can roll back, I can do whatever I want. That's uh, wonderful. The thing that's not wonderful though is that uh, maybe I'm a perfectionist and uh, I just happened to be skimming through the GCC code base and I found a typo in a comment. So I fixed that because I can't live with the idea that one of my dependencies has a typo in a comment. But by doing that, I changed uh, the hash of the GCC derivation. And well, I have to rebuild GCC, but more importantly, I have to rebuild my own hello project. And uh, I don't want to do that because what I know is that I just change a comment, which means that uh, the GCC executable uh, will be the same. And I, which means that I know that my hello, um, the output of my hello dependency will also be the same because it's, it had in a way the same inputs, the same hello.c source file, the same bash derivation, the same build command and the same GCC binary. But Nix doesn't know that just a change in a comment in that meaning. It doesn't know what a comment is anyways. Uh, all it says is that I change the source of uh, GCC, which means that I change the GCC derivation, which means that I change everything that was depending on it. Um, content address derivations take a different path. Uh, the idea is that uh, rather than having uh, hello.g directly depending on the GCC or bash derivations, uh, it depends on the output path. Uh, so what happens is that uh, Nix is first going to build GCC. Uh, this is going to yield uh, some output path. And then Nix is going to hash uh, the content of that output path. And this will be the hash of the output path. This ABCD hash you can see. And likewise, Nix is going to build bash and it's going to hash the output path of bash. And these two hashes is what is going to be fed into the Nix hashing process uh, for hello.grv rather than the hash of the GCC and bash derivations themselves. This means that if I change my GCC derivation, so changes it hash, but in a way that keeps uh, the same output, then hello.grv will also will have the same inputs effectively. And so it won't be invalidated and I won't have to rebuild it. So that's really an hand waving how content address derivation work, of course, but <coughs> uh, that should hopefully give you the, the high level ID of how it works and how it's useful. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to unlock a whole new range of uh, potential use cases for Nix, and I'm eagerly waiting for it uh, 
to land in a released Nix version, which I hope is gonna happen soon. Uh, thank you everyone for your time and you can reach me if you need uh, everywhere there uh, Just not this weekend because I'm, I'm off right now, but thanks everyone <laughs>